Hello student and welcome you all. So in the today class is going to be one of the important because many of the students are asking uh, different doubts on the trust element. So that may be related to how to uh, mention the nodes and elements. Okay, whether to take the order uh, in a numbering should be done in a ordering. Uh, and uh, how to be calculate the reaction forces and how to be uh, apply the boundary condition all these uh, comments I am getting uh, from the comment box so in this uh, video I am going to clarify all your doubts so please continue uh, watching my videos and I will explain how what are the important uh, thing to be remember while solving the trust element problems in the FED okay okay so now while solving the trust problem using the finite element method so something you have to remember okay so what are the important uh, points to be remember here so in trust element so the elements it may be given like one element two element three element so they may be given the number of elements for example i have taken here a uh, two elements okay so in the question they might given the element numbering also they might mention you the this is element one or this is element two if they have not mentioned you can choose according to your convenient you can say this is one out two one out two anything you can mention okay and also the numbering okay so numbering can numbering means the no numbering so you can start with one two three or you can start with one two three so anything you can mention so that is your wish where you can adapt anything okay so elements and numbering is your wish if they have mentioned particularly then you have to follow according to that you cannot change it okay if you change it then the problem it will be changed so you have to follow according to the given question if they have not given then you can make the numbering like in your order okay so in this question they have mention two elements and let us say this is a force which is applied here and one more force I will apply here let us say P1 and let us say P2 so two forces are given okay so we have calculated the element 1 element 2 now if they have given some dimension you need to calculate the first the length of the element and length of the element 2 all the elements length you need to calculate because that is required in the stiffness matrix okay so first check whether all the elements having a length or not if it is not there use your geometrical knowledge and calculate the uh, trigonometry by using trigonometry you calculate the l2 i don't want to say which method you have to follow but you have to calculate the l for all the elements you can follow the local coordinate system by using x1 and x2 you can take or you can apply the trigonometry cos theta sin theta by making the triangle you can find out the unknown length okay so any one method you follow and calculate the l so after that after calculating the forces so what are the fixed element here so this is fixed so when there is a fixed element so this is a rigid fix okay so fixed support so whenever there is a fixed support so there will be the vertical displacement will say v and horizontal displacement will say u so both will get zero so this will say vertical and this will say horizontal u is the horizontal v is the vertical so both will get zero at this point because it is a rigidly fixed support so when you comes at the node 2 so it is a free okay so here there will be unknown values like u2 v2 will be there so these two unknowns you have to calculate in this problem so whenever it is in free but if you look at the node 3 there is a one roller support are given okay so as i told you different types of support will be there so if there is a roller support so if this is a this type so there will be no vertical movement at this point okay so there will be no v3 is equal to zero no vertical movement so it can make the horizontal movement this because of this roller so there will be horizontal movement it means vertically zero and horizontal there will be some values that you need to calculate okay so when there is a roller support there will be one if this is an like this so there will be one horizontal forces but there will be no vertical displacement that you need to identify and also 
many students ask about the forces see when the force is applied so this is a point force where it is applied at node 2 when the forces are applying the downward direction so here if the force is applied towards the right side then the value will be plus you have to take if the force is applied towards the left side then it will be taken as negative if the force is applied upward then it will be taken as positive if the force is applied downward then you have to take as negative so now the force is applied downward so you have to take the force as minus p1 okay whatever the values if they have given that you have to take if the, the and here at node 3 also the force is applied towards the right side so towards the right side is again plus plus p2 you have to calculate means at p at node 1 let us say f1 and at node 2 let us take p2 so like that you have to remember and how to calculate the reaction forces so for example you will get the finite element equation k u is equal to f so you will come to up to this stage okay so you will have one k matrix like it may be 6 into 6 matrix or 4 into 4 matrix okay into the displacement like u1 v1 u2 v2 so in and, and forces like f1 x so again the forces i have not mentioned at each node in the truss element there will be two forces for example here at this point there will be two forces will be applied f1 f2 at node 2 so f2 y because vertical force then f2 x so two forces can be taken because it was a uh, when uh, at truss problem there will be two displacement horizontal and vertical so forces will be horizontally and vertical forces so f1 x f1 y to be taken like that now to calculate the reaction forces for example at node 1 it is a rigid fix so there will be one reaction forces which one horizontal reaction forces and also there will be one vertical reaction force it means you will have the reaction force at node mean so let us say r1 x r1 y in both the side there will be reaction forces means you have to take the first equation to calculate the r1 x so k u in is equal to r1 that equation you have to take next r1 y second equation so finally there will be no vertical so vertical force will be reaction forces so at r3 y there will be reaction so if take the r3 y equation and find out the r3 y so here in place of f you can directly write as reaction forces then directly you will get the result so there there will be you have to apply the boundary condition and the whatever the displacement you will calculate that you have to substitute in that so after making the multiplication of these two you will get directly the reaction forces right so hope this video is helpful for you if you are having any doubts again you can make in the